Scorpio, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for how your person feels about you. So the Oracle cards go here, which are all for you. The Tarot cards over here, which are the energies around you. So you'll probably show up over here as well. So take what you can use and leave what doesn't connect. Feel free to vice versa, the masculine, feminine energy in the cards. And remember that... I'm going to have a drawing at 5,000 subscribers where I give away a deck of cards, a brand new deck of the, it has to be a deck I use, but it'll be a new deck who I send it to. So keep that in mind if you're interested. So the first one for you is 23 Distinctive Potential. Rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. So this is the narwhal whale, and this is their left tooth. So it usually grows on the males when they get older, but it does grow on the females once in a while. So this talks about something about you. 23 always makes me think 23 is a number that is picked a lot for like coats and shoes and sports. Um, they have the 23 and me that has to do with DNA. For some reason that's coming to my mind. So there's something about you that is different, Scorpio, from other people. Something that makes you stand out from the people you associate with in a good way like a strength way. So the next one is four, life is better together. So seek assistance from your community, connect with family, friends, or others who will support you. It can be as simple as making a phone call. This is the pilot whale. They travel in pods of a thousand. So I do feel like they're, because it's a four, I feel like a partner's coming into you. Like somebody is coming in to partner up with you. Um, Maybe they have a pre-made family already, too, I kind of feel. But I do feel like something about you is attracting this person to where I almost feel like you two need each other right now. That there's something you two need that would help both of you flourish. So, Queen of Coins. Your person sees you as stable. They see you as very good at bringing in the coins. Wheel of Fortune. They see you very good at manifesting your life, like making it what you want, whatever you desire. You seem to go after. You seem to have a knack for bringing to you what you want in your life. So the Hermit is Virgo placement. To me, this is clarity. So they see you as being very clear. When you make a decision and you need an answer, you're spot on. So Three of Wands, they see you as having opportunities or choices. And they feel like you already know what choice you're going to make. So Ten of Swords. So this is betrayal. So somebody feels like you betrayed them. So Queen of Swords. So this is somebody who wants to communicate. They feel like you're spying on them. Or you're very... You want to communicate to them. You want to communicate to them something about the Wheel of Fortune. So something about your life changing. Something you've manifested to make your life change you want to talk to somebody about so yeah I feel like you're going to betray them when you talk to them about it so the emperor could be a father figure this could be a boss a CEO it could be narcissist it's clarifying the hermit card so I do feel like there's going to be any because somebody wants to communicate I don't know if you're having a baby and you're going to tell somebody that and that's going to be it for them or if you're moving to a new job I feel so five of coins yeah somebody's moving away from a situation so something you're going to tell your person or they think you're going to tell them something that's going to end the relationship they feel like it's going to make them move away or you're going to move away feel free to vice versa this where it would apply so Princess of Swords is somebody spying again, somebody's watching, wants to communicate. Seven of Swords is lying, somebody being sneaky. So they see you as being sneaky and not being honest about what's going on with you. You're keeping something from them. So Six of Cups says that you're healing from something. They feel like there was a past hurt that you're healing from. A job situation? I'm not sure. So King of Cups talks about codependency. So I feel like they're going to, somebody's going to, they feel like they're going to walk away from a situation because of codependency. Somebody's codependent and they offer love and everything looks good on the outside. But when you get in that situation, he can do whatever he wants, but whoever he loves has to stay within the spires of his chair. So I do feel like somebody is kind of aware of that. So I'm going to switch to the cat. 
mystical. So you have Virgo placement. So this is clarity. Some sort of clarity, which you've had Virgo twice, haven't you? Yeah, wow, you had Virgo twice. So clarity coming on strong here. Strength and balance. You have balance and strength. Very good. Over um, lies. So your person sees that you can balance things out. You have the strength. So Sky, Sky Queen talks about they feel like somebody watches you. Somebody from your past who's an ex spies on you and watches you. So Sky Kitten is a couple things. This could be annoying immaturity, which I do feel like it's clarifying the codependent, the king of cups. So I do feel like they see you as being immature and doing things childlike sometimes, which we all do. But it causes conflict in your situation. So I do feel like they feel like you'll do something to have fun and then it will bring conflict. And to them it's clear that you you know, want to go have fun and then you know the consequences but you do it anyway. So Seven of Earth says that they've been waiting. They're waiting and waiting for you to do something and then they're just waiting in vain. I feel like you haven't done it, Scorpio. So Three of C is friendship. So I feel like one of your friends is watching you. One of your friends is intently watching you. So Earth Tom. So Earth Tom is the universe sending somebody in to help you. Something. They're sending you help in some sort of way, Scorpio. So Ace of Earth is an illusion. Somebody is somebody who's creating conflict is being untruthful. There's an illusion. Something's not what it seems. So Demon Cat is Capricorn placement. So I do feel like a lot of you have been waiting and your person just feels like they're waiting in vain and it's just going to be terrible. They're going to get hurt is what I feel. They see you as hurting them if they continue to wait for you. So Nine of Earth is your future. So I do feel like they see you as putting your friends ahead of them in your future. So you not seem to be putting your significant other ahead of friends. So then you have Ten of Sky. So Ten of Sky talks about somebody feeling stuck. So when the new helper, a new person comes in to help you, Scorpio, somebody around you is going to feel stuck and trapped. I don't know if they're afraid something's going to come out in the open. I don't know if they're afraid that you're going to say something. There's something going on there with that. So I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E. You have Bring It, number 11. So this has to do with emotions and communication. So something to do with your the way you talk and your emotions. So the next one is Head Games, 36. So this talks about people playing games, confusing you, but you're going towards your son and they see it, and this is why they're going to play games with you. And you're stronger. You had the card that said you're strong for what's coming to you. So you're basically saying bring the head games. So because this is clarifying this card, I feel like there's something about your communication or your emotions that's different than other people. Because this is distinctive potential. Alright, so now I'm going to go to strength three. This is strength, talking about building up your self-confidence, making yourself strong, and then rest, 15. So whatever you're going through right now, you're supposed to rest from. They want you to build up your strength. They want you to rest. And so the next ones for you are shallow and master. Be graceful in movement and action. So when I see this, it always makes me think that if you come across somebody in the next week, or a couple weeks and somebody has really harsh energy, this basically means go around that person. If somebody comes up to you and confronts you with really hard, aggressive energy, you are balanced. You are balanced with your feminine and your masculine energy, but it tells you to move away. It's better to take your energy and move away and go around that situation than try and deal with it or go through it. I hope that makes sense. So the mountains stand your ground. Wow, look at that. So the mountains are in the ground, Mother Earth, and then they reach to Father Sky. So this is stability right here. I mean, you have good energy, Scorpio, and then you have yourself 
to where you're grounded but you're reaching for your dreams. That is really, really good to me. That is really beautiful. So I hope this helps you. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Bless you.